What is Lightroom? For those of you who don't know, Lightroom is a application developed by Adobe, built from the ground up for digital photographers who want to get the most out of their images and don't want to spend a lot of time in front of the computer. So what I mean by that is Lightroom is designed as a workflow application. It's designed to not only view your images, but also to manage them and to organize them and to also develop or process these images. So it's an all-in-one solution for all your imaging needs. How does it differ from, say, Photoshop or other editing applications? Well, Lightroom doesn't open an image. It actually imports an image and draws a relationship between the application and the images themselves. So let me show you what I mean by that. When you're in Photoshop, you open an image. You have to then navigate your way to the image itself, following the pathway here. You can see this is not necessarily very fast or streamlined. We find the image that we want, and then we go ahead and open that. Obviously, Photoshop users know that you can also use Adobe Bridge to browse your way to an image. In Lightroom itself, you actually import a batch of images through the Import dialog. And once those images in Lightroom, they're all available. You don't have to poke around to find them. I'm not going to go through the process right here. You'll certainly get lots of opportunities to see how that importing process works. This is just meant to be a general introduction to the concepts behind Lightroom. Lightroom is a non-destructive image editing application. What I mean by that is it never touches your original image. So when I import a series of images, all Lightroom is doing to those images is creating a relationship between Lightroom and the images, database relationship, if you will, and then creating a set of instructions that work on those images. All those instructions are kept within Lightroom, and they're always accessible within Lightroom, but it's never touching the actual pixel in your original image. Another name for this type of application is a parametric editing tool use sliders to control the various processing functions, and all the movements of those sliders is recorded, but nothing is done to the pixels. My colleague Tim Gray will walk you through the workflow of Lightroom in another video, but I just want to give you a very quick overview of how Lightroom is set up. It's a modular system, in other words, a library module, you can see here, a develop module, a slideshow module, a print module, and a web module. These modules are similar in design. We have a left panel, a right panel, and a viewing area. But the actual instructions found in these panels are different, and they're appropriate to the needs of each one of these modules. So you can see the slideshow module, with different controls in the left and right panels, and say the print module and the web module. So as a professional photographer for over 30 years, I'm very excited about working with Lightroom because it really does feel like it was built with my needs as a photographer in mind. And I think as we work our way through the application and as you get to know it better, you'll see what I mean. It's a program built to streamline our workflow to really give us a focus on what we like to do as photographers, which is go out and take pictures and not spend necessarily all our time in front of the computer. I'm really excited to work with it and very happy to be here working with you to get you up to speed using Lightroom and help you get the most out of your digital images. If you stop and think about it, Lightroom is quite ambitious when it comes to managing your digital photography workflow. It serves as a tool for managing, optimizing, and sharing your images, all of which are rather complex tasks. The beauty of Lightroom is that it serves as an elegant solution, in large part because it uses a consistent and workflow-oriented interface. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the Lightroom workspace. Lightroom is organized into five modules. Those modules are listed in the module picker at the top of the Lightroom interface. We can choose between the library module, the develop module, the slideshow module, the print module, and the web module. Each of these have their own purpose. The library module is largely for organizing and managing your images. The develop module is for making those images look better. And the slideshow, print, and web modules are all used for sharing your images in one form or another. We can switch between each of these modules simply by clicking on the name for the module on the module picker. 
As you'll notice as I switch between each of these individual modules, the overall structure of the interface remains the same. The library module and the slideshow module look very similar to each other. That's because of the panels that are in use throughout Lightroom. On the left side, you'll find the left panel. This panel generally contains more broadly based controls. For example, for selecting specific images or for choosing a template or preset that you'll use when working with your images. The right panel contains the more specific controls that you'll need while working with your images. For example, this is where you'll find the adjustment controls so you can change the appearance of your image or the controls for changing a layout for your slideshow, print, or web output. In the center of the display, of course, is the image or images that you're currently working with. This is in large part a preview area that allows you to see the results of your work. Below this viewing area is a toolbar. The contents of this toolbar will change based on which module you're in. The controls will always relate to the tasks you're able to perform within the current module. At the bottom of the Lightroom interface, you'll find the film strip. This is a persistent view of the images that are currently available or selected based on which folder you've navigated to, any filters you've set, or other parameters that determine which images are currently available for you to work with. Based on this structure, you can probably appreciate that in general, you'll move from left to right across the modules. You'll start off in the library module to both import and then manage your images, and then move on to the develop module for making your images look their best, and the three output modules for sharing those images. The consistent user interface throughout Lightroom enables you to work with confidence as you go about the task of managing, optimizing, and sharing your digital photos.